Let me let me re let me play that that shit. Oh, God, God, we get that it. Thunder? At lightning. No. That's thunder. That's thunder. That's Peter. fucking. That's fucking. That's fucking thunder. Yeah, it's thunder. If someone's taking a mean shit. <laughs> Violent shit. Violent. Every time, just, every, time me... just, every time it splashes, just crackle. That's God. You put that shit again. Every time. Someone, someone stepped on God's sneakers, and now he's pissed. Obviously, he's mad. Let me put that shit on. Okay, well, I will, I will, look at my screen. I'm watching the Venom, the Venom trailer again. Because I love that shit. I love that Wait, fucking I'm shit. Watching your screen, but I see Oliver. Wait, who? My screen. Oh, okay, my screen. Never mind, never mind. Love this shit. Oh. God! Okay! <laughs> Let me close this fucking window. Oh, man. I'm thinking, I'm thinking you have like, it's going through the walls and shit. you have the window open. What'd you expect? It is reverberating. <laughs> God damn. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Venom 2. Oh, I didn't see all that extra stuff in the beginning. Must be a different trailer. Wait, can you pause for a second? Oh, wait, is this... Oh, that's the first trailer. It's the first trailer. Never mind, I was wrong. Never mind. First, tra second trailer. There you go. I do want to say though, I I strongly hate what they've been doing with uh, trailers recently, where they show like a good five second clip of something that's already in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Teaser, teaser, teaser for the trailer. We've been talking about teaser, teaser. Here's the teaser for the teaser. Like I understand if it's like a five second ad, but yeah. We should be out there We should be out there eating niggas out here in the shits, Venom! Eddie, we should be out here. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression. We need to go to anger management. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? I just realized. The shriek. Oh. You live in my body. You live by my rules. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it. So I can break it again. <laughs> I can break it again. Um, I'm curious what Ven what uh, Carter's gonna sound like. Eddie Brock, I want to give you probably to sound like him. People love serial killers. I'm hoping for. Avi Arad, Avi Arad must be shitting his pants right now. And what's yours? Must be happy. Is mine. Can I just say from the get go, I'm a Woody Harrison stand. Tasted blood before, and that fair. is fair. It was, fair. it was, it was Zombie Land when we all fell in love. It, it's literally Zombie Land that started it all. So, biting Eddie is what did it. it. Okay. Before it used blood before it used to be a blood transfusion, right? It wasn't blood transfusion. Part of Venom, they were cellmates. So a part of Venom, oh. like he was. He was giving birth unintentionally. A part of uh, the, ba the oh. baby, the baby symbiote was left behind. Imprinted. Yeah. Imprinted on, on him. Okay. And like no. Cletus had like a cut on his arm or something and like it bonded his blood or some shit. And that's uh, why he's red. It's literally uh, red. And you can also say that's why his transformation is different because. Yeah. Because he turns into Carnage. Yeah, Carnage is like that's the money shot. That, yeah, that was that, no. That shit right there. That's what I knew. That's when I knew this movie was gonna. Be. And I saw that. Crazy. Oh, that shit I'm is. That shit. Is, yeah. But it's the that's part where he literally shoved his tongue down the guard's throat. I was like, God. Bro, damn, have you was... seen? Have you seen the allusions to Maximum Carnage? Oh, oh and also that that part. I, I, that's Maximum Carnage. Oh, oh no. That's Maximum Carnage. And something else I, I realized. Oh, um, isn't he um, making more with that shit? Making more? Isn't that how he makes no, more of him or some shit? He's killing. He's killing. Oh. He's, he's dead. He's dead as hell. But I forgot this is rated R. Is it? You're is thinking, it? Pretty sure. You're if about... it's not, if it's not rated R, then my expectations are all on the floor. Isn't well, the first? Wasn't the first? Wasn't the first one rated R? It was PG. No, it was rated PG thirteen. Oh, PG thirteen. Let's go. You're thinking of. You're thinking of absolute. Oh. Something else I noticed. Um... Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Nope, nope, nope. We're going. You need to come out right now. Come out right now. Everybody! Promise! Promise! Oh yeah! 
Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I love that shit! Oh! I love dynamic. I love I love sh dynamics like this. It's funny when he mentions family. I'm just like Dominic Toretto wants to know your location. <laughs> oh wow! You could just say I'm happy for you. That was going to be us. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Uh, oh, we're gonna do this. Ro we're gonna do this romantic comedy bullshit again. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's two and some serious couples counseling. Ooh, what is this? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna do this. Uh, uh, that's the only part of the movie that I didn't like. No, honestly, the, the, the whole romantic subplot bullshit. Mm -mm. Happy for you. That was going to be us. Awesome. Yeah, like, I'm perfectly okay with them adjusting Venom's character to be more comedic. But, like, this, this bullshit. Mm -mm. God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's, two some serious couples it's like, with the absence of Spider-Man, someone has to replace that role. That's literally what it's become. Fair. I was not a fan Fair. of the first Venom in... Oh. Uh, this one, I'm just expecting just cool action. That's that's all I'm all I'm really going for. There's gonna be carnage. <laughs> There's gonna be carnage. Then you have this shit. I'm just happy. I'm honestly just happy that 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 it's a James Gunn thing, more than a Suicide Squad thing. Cause I like. I like this. I like Suicide Squad. I've read a couple of Suicide Squad books. He's just Deadshot. We'll see. But British. Same shit. It's quite literally the same character arc. Stand down. Stand down. I wouldn't take such extreme measures if this mission went more important than you could possibly imagine. Are you in? Or out. Good. Okay, so if their task is to take down Starro, but wouldn't Starro be cool for be reserved for like another Justice League movie since he's a Nigga, Justice we're League never movie? getting another Justice League movie. You better hush up. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about a Snyder Justice League movie. I'm talking about like like another one in general. Because you know damn well they're not just gonna let that IP go. You think you think just because one Justice League movie was bad, you think just because one of them was bad, they're just gonna drop the entire IP? Your team. Chosen for his or her own completely like DC DC literally said DC literally said we have to find we have to find counterparts for every single for every single major Marvel property this is their suicide squad and Justice League is their Avengers and they fucked up the first time they did the other two can you guys remember yeah we can hear you Dog, you think it is, I'm gonna go with Afghan. Uh, oh God, hold on. Where, what? That's not it. Okay. Um, sorry. The power got disconnected at my house. Nice shit. Yeah. yeah. It's damn. It's actually. Honestly, if you guys can uh. Every trace of something known only as Project Starfish. Can you guys see me? You can. Yeah, we we can hear you. Can you see me though? Oh, let me uh check. Um, no. Oh, let me end, let me end the stream. Get out of his thing. Uh, yeah, I can see you. Oh yeah. Oh, oh Jesus he, fucking Christ! It is really raining over where Duran is at. God damn. Yeah. How is it by you guys? For me, let me check outside. Um, oh no, it's, it's bad here too. Nah, it's just not as windy. Not yeah, I think, I think that's gonna head over my way soon. Yeah. I haven't played video games at all yet. I'm watching the TV. Uh-uh. Alright. <laughs> so, um, the last thing I heard was Gabe was talking about, um, cool action scenes for the second one. That was the last thing I heard. Oh, yeah, um, I said that, um, I wasn't a fan of the first Venom movie, and I'm not really expecting much from this one. Um, I, I'm hoping at least the action is cool. Yeah. Do you think any? Do you think any difference would be made because it's a different director now? Uh, or do you think it'd be most of the same? There's a, there's a possibility. Just, um, I I just 
because this is basically kind of like the first one big goopy monster versus big goopy monster and but this one's yeah. carnage true but honestly but the, I, I i agree don't get me wrong i 100 agree with that but i have i do have to admit that the tone seems to definitely shift whenever carnage is around yeah, yeah. I, I can kind of feel that but um that's the, I, to me, it's just like the trailer is just doing what a trailer is supposed to do. Like, oh, come watch us. Come watch this. It's going to be fucking sick. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, I understand. I just hope they focus um, more on on uh, Eddie and Venom's dynamic than anything else. Because I feel like that was the, the, the first film's major, like, fall. It, it focused on other things. Okay. But oh yeah. I, I get what you guys are saying. I, I understand that. Oh, wait, the power's back on. I didn't even peep that. What other movies are coming out? Like, are they like superhero movies? Other than superhero movies? I don't know. When does the Batman come out? Batman's not coming out probably until 2022. Like, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think it's uh, around my birthday. I think it's March. Ah. Uh, I am here. Then, I'm uh, here for Shang Chi. I'm here for this. I'm, I'm hopefully here for Shang Chi. I want it to be good. I'm, I'm tired of these crappy adaptations of movies. I'm here for this mostly because it 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 has a different vibe from other Marvel movies. It has a different vibe. I just hope they get the action right. You can't be the the master of martial arts and be. So <laughs> from the trailers, the action looks sick. But I. What happened? Um, you're glitching. Okay. So, I I think that back. Not not just am the, I, the am I the only one who am I the only one who's glitching? Uh, uh is, is it me? Match there as well. Like, hello. I was saying that besides the uh, the fighting itself, like the choreography. Huh? Oh, so what I miss? Oh, we're talking about Shang Chi now. Uh, I don't know, Gabe. Can you hear Chris? Are you there? I'm trying to, because you're glitching out. No, not you. The rain's glitching out. What paper was it? The rain's glitching out. Yeah, it doesn't look like a Marvel from Marvel movie. Yeah. You enter the dragons type shit. You got this. Abomination fighting Wong. Felt so random. It feels so random. They're like, we have to, we have to put something from the from the rest of the MCU to remind people that it's still an MCU film. That's, um, what, um, that's, that's what Wong does on the weekend. <laughs> that's what Wong is just out here. Is like, yeah, we're gonna do this. What else is coming out? I mean, we haven't gotten a Batman trailer in a while. COVID. Mm-hmm. 
He's back. Hello. Wait. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, oh, I thought that was I thought that was Talon. I was like, what? Yeah. No, I I I don't know what the hell happened, but I mean, I can hear you guys now. Everything's good. All right. I think I got stuck in the matrix. I can't tell yet. We <laughs> got a black Gordon, everybody. We got a black Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, I, it I agree. better because that sh the Batgirl shit. It better be connected to this. Because why have a light skin? Why have a light skin Batgirl and a light skin Gordon if you're not gonna make them connected? But they're not. Wait, what? Which Gordon? Is I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Back. It would make Back. sense for it to be for it to be this Gordon. That girl movie. I don't know. That's the problem. That's Wait, go back. I, I I I completely didn't realize what was going on. What a Google search would do. This is on some. Uh, okay, so I, I remember the main villain of the movie is uh, Nick uh, Nigma Nigma. Yeah, it's Nigma. <laughs> Selena. I'm totally different. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> um, it's rumored. It's rumored that J.K. Simmons is a part of it. Yeah, it, it has to be this guy. Okay, J.K. Simmons is part of what the the Batgirl Back. thing? Snyder, uh, yeah. All the POC. Yeah. I mean Reyes. Blue Beetles going over there. Who's playing Selena? Who's playing Selena? Yes. Oh, is that Cobblepot? Wait. Oh, you're back in here again, huh? Is this the Joker gang? Or just niggas that paint white on their faces for no reason? I know exactly. You're gonna start coloring on my stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this scene. <laughs> While we're here, Pitch. play the key. I'm the vengeance. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> Fuck that. It does not matter where you are in Goth. Unless you live in like, like I don't know, Coast City. Yeah. Who's in Coast City? I'm gonna be right back, guys. I have to go pick up my brother and stuff. All right. All right. Be here. So if you guys still don't know, hop on. Yeah, we'll be here when you. All right. All right, friend. Later. Coast City. True. Who's in Midway City? The hawk people. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Hawk people. Patrol. And the... Yeah. Midway City is the best place to do crime. What? I don't want to fight Crazy Jane. I'd rather fight Crazy Jane than fucking Clark. What the fuck? And depending on which personality you get, you might be able to do something. Oh, sh oh this is kind of a decent... <laughs> That's a lit Batman suit. That is a lit Batman suit. He's beating the crap out of me, too. Oh, no. He is vengeance! He just said he, he vengeance. Is vengeance. He is vengeance. Please. Don't pull a gun on Batman. Oh. So y'all want y'all want to send the black man to hell? Ghost Rider's whole thing is that he stops bank ro bank robbers and instead of sending them to fucking jail, he sends them to hell. <laughs> to hell for robbing a jewelry store. 
uphill. No, it don't mean shit if you can get immediately sent directly to hell. Yes. Oh, he pulled the Batman Begins. Yeah. I don't know how he does that shit, but it's cool. Batman! <laughs> what is that? Get this shit. Left his behind, bro. Get this shit. Hey, uh. He, he said he is vengeance. He said he is. Uh, oh, I watch one of the. Oh, yeah, thank you. Wolf graphic. The effects, Billy. Oh, tired. Very good. I'll say that I said this before. Elizabeth makes a good Bulma. She does. Yes, she does. I still won't get over this though. This bitch used to do puppetry. <laughs> I still won't get over that. <laughs> now she's now she doing OnlyFans. Yo. Uh, Oh, it's almost seven. He just didn't respond. He, but she, but she knows that he heard her though. She knows that he heard her. That's a good Vegeta. Drippy trunks. None of Bulma's. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have got a light skinned nigga. They said no. Fuck a light skinned niggas. <laughs> they are saying jeans. Saying jeans. <laughs> Trunks with curls. Stop! This man is not black. <laughs> My Bulma! Who the fuck? Ed who who edits this? That's what I'm saying. Probably King Day. I figured. Yeah, definitely. I like the little Kuma eyes he gave him just now. Right? Yes. Oh. Damn! Damn! Beat that nigga ass! And I'm the real thing. Bro, Black Sands. Black Sands always hit different. Were there, are there black people on a, on a sand, on the sand planet like they're all crypto? No? no, that's that's depressing. Yeah. They're all white. They're all would Japanese. That be, would, would that would that be racist if a black Saiyan turned into a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> I would think 
Oh no! Question, actually. That's why there are no. That's why there are no. <laughs> Saiyans. Wait, wait. We have Turles. Does he? Does he count though? Because he's just. He's, he's just... great. <laughs> Because he, he he he's just um costume two Goku. Oh, oh wait, not only um what's it called? We also have um Broly's dad, Paragus. If you trying to oh. tell me that's not a dark skin, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Broly's dead. Oh, before before the before the reboot before the reboot, I was like what? I'm a, I, I gotta look at that nigga again because I, I remember him differently. City. Is that not how we do things here? No. I've destroyed the city tons of times in Xenoverse. In Xenoverse, this shit happens on the. Shit happens like like. It's... I know on the actual show it's like we, we we don't do this, but like I remember in Xenoverse it's fuck the city. Bro, Aragus is black and Broly is light skin. That's all it is. <laughs> Broly is light skin. Broly is light skin. I I I know this. This I know. Oh, he's fused. Now, my question about Fusion Masu, what is that shit behind him? It's something that he made. You're like, yeah. No, no other fusion has that. He just made that. Oh. <laughs> uh, my crucifix. Apparently his version of a it's, halo. Like, the, I like it. The only reason I think it's cool is because it's reminiscent of. I don't remember what it's called, but it's re very reminiscent. Re reminiscent of like the symbol of an old religion that used to exist. Huh? No, well, I'm. I'm not sure he did that on purpose, but like, if he did, that's cool. If not, still cool. Yeah. Spirit sword. Sword of hope. I might check out his videos now because before all I thought he used to do was just like dancing videos with yeah. like different anime the, characters. And I'm like this yeah. is getting boring. Like it's the same thing After, all the time. This man makes yeah. When I that's why I, I, I had uh, I had uh, most of him. That there's the motivation part. Hey, skip to the credits so we can see the the tournament of power shit. Thanks for helping, Piccolo. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Piccolo. If Piccolo is not a black man, he's black. <laughs> Piccolo is black. Then all the Namekians are black. All the Namekians. Are I'm saying if this actor right here does not turn out to be a black man, I know something. <laughs> <laughs> You better fight better next time, Kakarot. Dumb bitch. I just... I wish Vegeta could curse. Cause you know he would just constantly curse at Like if anyone, if anyone, Vegeta. I want Vegeta to, to curse. Oh uh, bro, there was this fucking stupid ass post of like, if, if the Dragon Ball characters were black and it was on Planet Frieza before Goku turned Super Saiyan. Fucking like the monkey. Dude, wait, no, wait, listen, no, wait, wait, listen, like, and the dude who was making the video, the, the post was in it, and he was like, oh, no, and he, uh, he named all the characters, like, with nigga in it, <laughs> so, like, he's like, yeah, oh, no, Kraliga, he's dead. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I know that trend. I know what you're talking about. And then he goes to Goku's like, go, Nika, what's happening go to you? Nika? You call me okay? Yeah, yeah. And, no, then, and then when he gets to Piccolo, it's just Piccolo. Piccolo? <laughs> uh, it's not sa I saw that same video where it was like, very odd parent. Timmy turn nigga. Chess nigga. AJ. <laughs> AJ. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to see y'all later. I got to go do some shit. All right. Later, y'all. D DK, did you see? Do you read the Super, the Dragon Ball Super manga? I have read a couple. Well, I, I'm 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 up to date. If if that's what you're asking. Okay, so did you see Vegeta's new 
transformation. You can't see me, but I'm doing air quotes. Yeah, I I do not like it. By any it's, sense. Bro, it's literally just Super Saiyan 3, but without the long hair, and but it's purple, and he has, like, an earring on. Yeah. Apparently, it's supposed to be, like, his God of Destruction form, which, honestly... I, I really wish we got something more reminiscent of uh, what they did with Topo in the anime because mm. and I'm not going to lie to you. If I saw Vegeta with some God of Destruction tattoos on and he ended up looking like Super Vegeta back in the Cell games and that's all it was, dog, I ain't going to hold you. That would have been nice. Like, that's so simple, but it it's an okay concept. It's not You, you can barely call it like a, a, a transformation. Like, like I saw, I saw a still image of it. I'm like, what? It's just, is nothing. Right. Excuse me. This, I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. There seems to be a bunch of mixed opinions about it. Uh, I've seen some people that don't necessarily like the way it looks, but they like what it's supposed to represent. And so. Hmm. But like, what what direction would you have liked to see um, Dragon Ball transformations go into instead of it being just changing the uh, changing hair color? Uh, what kind of shoes is he looking for? My bad. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. Ali, you're like very low. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. I'll talk to Alex and see. Physical transformations. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Beast. Okay. Like Super Saiyan 4. I think Super. But instead of instead of everyone like keep playing the power creep thing where uh, we keep. I want everyone to have their own individual transformation. I would appreciate that because I like. um. I like the route that they gave Gohan, where he's not trying to be like his dad, like, oh, I need to go Super Saiyan Blue as well. Like, no, like, he wants to keep the mystic form to himself, like, something exclusive and get stronger with that. Which is already a good thing, because he he did swap hands with a, a Blue Goku, so you can't really say... Which like, I still think is bullshit. I, me personally, I don't think it's I don't think it's bullshit. I just think the time that it took for him to get there, that, <laughs> that is whack. DK, like... Because he I, trained for, like, one evening and is just like, oh, yeah, I- I'm good now. Like, bro, you can't... I'm sorry. Not even when Goku is holding back in his blue form. There's no fucking way. You can tell me that Krillin would have able to stand a chance with Goku holding back in blue. That is bullshit. I, I, I think the main thing, like, even though, like, yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, he's holding back. I think Goku did hold back an astronomical amount because I think he only used it in order to scare Krillin to see if, like, he would keep fighting. Fuck that. Just stay in your base form. You're already way stronger than him there. Like just but, keep it like that. But at that same at the same token, he can he can tell uh like how strong Goku is in base. He can't sit him once he goes blue. So it's just like now you already knew this guy was stronger. Now you can't even tell how much stronger he is. For all we know, he could flick Krillin and, and that's it. He's dead. I but think he can first. I think I think that's what it was was that Goku was just trying to play like a more of a mental a mental game with Krillin there instead of just like you know an all out brawl. Mm-hmm. And that's why I don't I don't think too hard when it comes to that cuz I don't I think there's a bit more to that than what was being led to, you know. What, what, I get. Right? Don't get me wrong. I Krillin cannot hold a, a candle to Super Saiyan Blue. No, no, no. It, not at all. I don't think he can handle anything Super Saiyan related. Uh, 
case in point, uh, the Cell Juniors way, way, way back. Krillin was not doing anything to a Cell Junior. At least it, Vegeta and Trunks were able to keep up with them. They couldn't beat them, but they were keeping up. Krillin could not do that. He could not say that same thing. And so, yeah, I, I think even from way, way back, like he's never been able to, you know, stand there. And even with uh, everything going on now, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think he can. Like, I, I can accept that uh, current Krillin can probably swap hands with a Super Saiyan Goku from way, way back then. And even that, that's, I, I think that's a stretch. <clears throat> But yeah, that it, that's my take on it. Um, I don't, I don't know. Dragon Ball and the power scaling, it's gotten weird. Uh, I agree with Ali. I would like for everybody to have their own forms. That's where it looks like it's going. But at the same time, I kind of, I kind of miss where back in the day, you just had to swap hands. Like it, it kind of. <laughs> It kind of just wasn't, oh, let me just transform again, and then you can't do anything, you know? Because uh, now it's just like, oh, well, you know, he beat me now, but I'm going to just get another transformation and, you know, just beat him later. Like, I want I want Ultra Instinct to be the end-all, be-all for Goku, yep. which I think that's what they're doing, especially allowing him to use it in base. So... And if that's the case, it kind of makes sense for w- what happens later on in Z, like when he fights Oob, because he never transformed during that point. Yeah. And that Goku is, as far as the Z timeline goes, is the strongest Goku that we know. You know, I, I, I always thought that as Dragon Ball is now, they should just give... Um... Super Saiyan four to go to Gohan. I, I as Dragon Ball is now, I do not want to see Super Saiyan four unless it's like in a video game or something. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe like the Mystic form is what lead is what leads him to that. They don't have to even call it Super Saiyan four. It could be something else. But like you clearly know, it is Super Saiyan four. Uh, question, since we're talking about, like, current Dragon Ball and stuff, uh, how do you feel about the, uh, the superhero movie that's apparently coming out? Um, from that, from the still image I saw, it, it looks like a video game. Like, I know it's a movie, but, like, the art style makes it look like it's a video game. Yeah, a lot of people apparently didn't like the, uh, the CGI that was being used for it. So, uh, they, they think, oh, like, it's gonna look bad, but this was literally just like the little teaser, just to let us know what the thing. I heard it was about, about Pan. I, I've been hearing that there's some things about Pan, which, since she is not a newborn anymore, can we please age Goten and Trunks? Oh my god, he's supposed to be a man. <laughs> It's supposed to be a girl. Like, bro, like, they're still, they're still, like, 12 years old. Like, it was only, what, like, six months between Boo and, like, the start of um, the, uh, when Beerus showed up? Aren't, yeah, I, I, aren't I think so. Now? When you first see them, um, when you first see Gohan and Goten, I mean, Goten and Trunks, I think they're seven and eight, respectively, and then I think it, I think Gabe's right. I think it's six months to Battle of Gods from the Boo Saga. And then from there, it's like every arc that Dragon Ball had was a year after the previous event. So how old are they you now? got you got Frieza. Oh me? No, oh, how old are the kids now? Go to the trunks. Uh so Battle of Gods, Frieza, the Universe Seven and Six tournament. And I think we have the Goku Black. And then it's the Universal Survival Saga, so that's that that's that's five different years. <laughs> so at the very least, I I think Trump should be thirteen at this point. So so they they should be thirteen and twelve, but they still look seven. Like they you can age them up a little bit. Goku, 
Goku was around the same size at this time, but then I think there's a, a, a three year time skip in, in Dragon Ball. By the time Goku is like 15, 16, he looks like a grown man. So I, I, I really, I don't know what's going on with that or, or what. Like it, it's, it shouldn't be that hard to make their legs and torsos longer. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro what? Gohan aged like hell, and it's crazy because it you can almost say it came out of nowhere. Because Gohan looked around the same height from when he was three to when he was 10. And um, man, he goes into the, the time chamber, comes out 11, and, and he, he's all of a sudden almost as tall as Goku. He, he was Drink stuck my milk. with with the the main testosterone known as Goku for like a year. You cannot blame him, <laughs> mother. I require nourishment. Feed me. What do you call it? You know, if okay, the idea that I have would only work if Goten and Trunks were used more in 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 Super. Is if Goku Black was Goten Black? But see, I think that would have been sick. It makes sense. Chris, what do you think? Oh. What, do you, what do you think of like you? Do you watch Dragon Ball, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. You don't watch Dragon Ball. Like, you never watched Dragon Ball. Why? Nope. Just never watched it. So. I play the video games, but that's pretty much it. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> All right, uh, back to everybody else who who is so aware of Dragon Ball. <laughs> DK, what do you what do you think about that? Like, if if Goten and Trunks were used more, and then Goku Black turned was was just Goten Black instead of Goku. Uh, in terms of okay, I think they can definitely be utilized a bit more because it, even if you didn't want to use them separately, both of them combined still give us Go Tanks. That is their relevancy. It, it, like it, you cannot say like, it, it, if you did not want to use those characters, you can't say that Go Tanks was not one of the main characters of the Boo Saga. Like mm-hmm. he 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 had such a prevalent role that for a a good amount of time in that saga, he was the only character that we knew of that could have possibly killed Boo. He like everything was on his shoulders for a, a bit of time. So uh I, I think Gotenks should have a bigger role if they didn't want to give it to Goten and Trunks respectively. Another thing is they they could easily write out Goku and Vegeta in order to like give other characters, you know, more screen time, like more things to do. Kind of something like what they did in the moral arc where they just weren't on Earth. Vegeta was training. I, I think, I don't even remember what Goku was doing. Uh, but pretty much Gohan, Piccolo, the androids, and I think Krillin, they had to hold it down until, <laughs> until they got there. But let's not, let's not do that anymore. Let's not be the suicide squad until Goku and Vegeta pop up. Let's have it to where there's a big bad who can actually do some damage, but now it's left to everybody else, you know, like Gohan and everybody got to got to deal with everything because uh, I, I, I feel as though Dragon Ball, in, or at least like what they did, they were trying to pass the torch too much. And it's like each time that they got there, it's like they changed their mind. And I, I know exactly what the real issue was. Um, but it's like they changed their mind and they're like, oh, no, nope, I got to give it back to Goku. Everybody's fucking up. Let, let me just give it back. <laughs> you just show. Yeah. Uh, in terms of Goten being, uh, being Goku Black, 
I I cannot I cannot get on that subject at all. I I really can't because I find that thought process to be asinine. I, I I'm not even going <laughs> to argue. It, like it triggers me whenever I hear it because I I cannot fathom how that would make sense. We have Goten who we just clarified at the most would have been around like 12 years old, but now he's like a grown man body. If anything, I I would t- I would like to take it a bit further. I would like for, especially because this would hit a little bit closer to home, instead of Goku Black, we should have got a future Gohan Black because that would have done such such a detriment to Trunks. Like, Trunks would no longer be able to, like, uh, uh, look at his mentor the same way that he, he used to. Like, that was somebody who he saw as a symbol of hope. And now... it. it that same symbol is beating his ass <laughs> and destroying everything that he worked for. Like, you know, I, I think that would do a little bit more damage narratively to the protagonist in that sense, because I, I can't make sense of go of Goten being there because Goten does not exist in Trunks timeline, you know? Mm. And so it, it that's, at all so when it first came out like my mind just could not register what everybody was trying to say um no no no. what i was saying was that like not like about the theory that oh if it was goten black i'm saying like just change the goku black story entirely or it's not even mm-hmm. he's not even from future trunks timeline he's just you know he's just goten. like an older goten who's yeah just older angry, goten you know? Or maybe you could still keep like the part where Zamasu like takes over his body or some shit, but when he's older. Honestly speaking, all of the future Trunk saga would be better if you took out Zamasu. Like I, I like his character. I like what he was trying to do. But he that's that's the weakest link of that character. Like the biggest thing about it is the mystery of who Goku Black was, how strong this guy was going to get, you know? Like, that that was the biggest thing. And I feel like that could have been one of the main times where it's like, we can probably give Vegeta the win. You know? We, we don't have to have him be uh, uh, the, the second best guy anymore or... It, just the guy who just gets beat up and, and just to show like how strong he is compared to Goku. Like we don't we don't we don't gotta do that anymore. Please. <laughs> like just 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 give my boy Vegeta something. <laughs> he doesn't deserve this. It's really hard as shit now. Yeah, no. I I noticed it come down hella hard now. That you, it's even blocking out the damn sun a little bit even more. Bro, I literally walked out the shower and could not see in my room. Like I had my curtains up, but like normally I still get sunlight, and I I, I didn't have sunlight. I'm like, oh, it's that bad outside. Um, I don't know. Was there any other things that you you guys would have felt like you would have changed about uh like Dragon Ball at any point in time for that matter? Because Super is just a a hot mess, honestly. Hmm. Good question. Mm. Me, me personally, uh. I I just you know what I want? You know what I really really want? I want the Goku with the Cell Saga mentality to come back. And I say that Oh wait, feel- hold up. At which point? Like before he decided to throw Cell the Sensu Bean or just like in general? I almost want to say in general, but I'm gonna say before because that was such a stupid ass decision. <laughs> um I I'm I want to say that because that was such a more serious Goku. Mm-hmm. Like he understood the stakes, and while like yes, like he was still getting a good fight out of it, and, and he just wanted that. It just so happened that he'd be saving the day. Um, I just 
I don't know. It's something about his character back then that it, it, you can almost feel like he's more relatable when, mm-hmm. when he's there, you know? So I, I think that's pretty much like what I'm trying to say when it comes to it. it like, I, I don't feel like this Goku that we have now is really... I don't know what to say about him, bro. Like, I, I, I love Goku to death, but what they've done to him is just so ridiculous. Like, we, we all know he's simple-minded, yes, but he's not a dumbass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how his character is supposed to be. Like, he's supposed to just be like, oh, you real strong, so I punch you hard. That's, that's how his, you know, his brain works, yes. Yeah. But... Is not supposed to be like that all the time, you know? Yeah. Or, or like, just give us something more to work with. I feel like there's too much stuff in Dragon Ball for us to not be able to, you know, just get a bit more out of it, especially with the way that they're milking it. If you're going to continuously keep, try to keep this franchise alive, at least do it some justice is essentially what I'm trying to say. Right, right. Mm. Uh, how would you like describe Vegeta's character now? Because uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, didn't he like go back to wanting to best Kakarot? I mean, Goku. When um, no, you right. At, we don't at, give his slave name. <laughs> like at the end of um, the Blue Saga, or is it the Blue Saga or the Cell Saga where he admits like Goku's better than him? It's the Blue Saga, right? He does it in both sagas, actually. Okay. Uh, it, it's kind of funny because Vegeta's character is on a roller coaster of emotions that I don't feel like a lot of people really uh, see. So in the Cell Saga, it's all like, "Oh, I have to be better than Goku," and the whole thing with him is like, he really, he just, he wants a good fight, and he's like, "Bro, once this threat is over." I'm having a death match with Goku. Like that that was his only that's yeah. how he was thinking, right? So um when Goku dies at the end of that, he feels so empty because now the threat's over, Goku's gone, and he's just like I I don't have anything anymore. Like not only do I live he stronger than Yeah, he was like not only it was was he stronger? This guy's jit was stronger than me, and, and he just took the dub and, and died. <laughs> like he just sacrificed himself. Kind of shit. <laughs> like ain't no way you just made yourself look like the hero just now. Like that. That's pretty much what he was doing. And he was like, "Bro, like I, I don't want to fight again. I, I'm done." <laughs> and so it kind of it kind of sparks something different in him when he hears that Goku's coming back for a day. And he's like, okay, it's cool. So I, I, I do get my rematch. And this, essentially, Majin Vegeta is Vegeta throwing a tantrum. That, that's really yeah, what it is. Yeah. Um, because in the entire, most of the beginning of the Boo Saga is literally Vegeta. When do I get to fight you? When do I get to fight you? Like, he's constantly like, bro, like, are we going to scrap or no? And... <laughs> Goku is just like, well, hold on. We we still got this Majin Buu guy to beat. And Vegeta just had enough of it. And, it, and there's a, a point where he can sense just how strong Goku is. Because I guess Goku, like, briefly went Super Saiyan 2. And he felt that. And he's like, bro, if I fight that, I'm losing. <laughs> so he, he decides to let Bobby take like take control of his mind get a bit of a power boost and he's like bro you're gonna run me my round right now or i'm gonna kill a bunch of people in your name and there's nothing you can do to stop me tired away cack rock throw hands right and uh essentially goku spat in this guy's face once that happens because he did not whip out super saiyan 3 at all again i know the real reason for why this didn't happen um, but it, it in context, Goku did not care about Vegeta's pride. He just decided to keep this fight going and prolong it. Um, 
which was a stupid move. But uh, yeah, no, and then Vegeta just couldn't deal with it. And he's like, bro, I, I can't even fight you here because you're distracted. So you know what? I'm going to go take care of this by myself and, and and deal with it. And, you know, the whole explosion thing, you get hit in the feels because this was the first good thing this guy has ever done. Um, and he sees Super Saiyan 3 while he's dead. And that that hurt his pride. That that hurt his little ego. He's like, bro, like, I I thought I thought you weren't holding back. <laughs> I, I thought you what? <laughs> you lied. <laughs> but Kakarot. <laughs> so he, he just couldn't deal with it. But then like when he sees Goku fight with that form again, he's just like, you know what? I I, I can't I can't hang with this nigga. I, I, I can't do it. You, you are better than me. And essentially, his character went from I have to kill Goku to I have to beat Goku to now it's I just don't want him to think like he's just that much better than me. Like if he reaches a new level, I have to be right there with him. That That's essentially where, where he is in, in his thought process. Now in the manga, it seems that they are changing a little bit of that because mm-hmm. I I remember a conversation he had with Beerus. He was like Beerus was actually spitting some facts with, with him because um in the Moro arc, Vegeta was trying to beat Moro off bat because he was like, Oh, uh I I must what did he say? I must uh redeem myself for the sins that I made the last time I came here. Mm-hmm. And Beerus is like, bro. Why would you even do that? Like, why does that matter to you right now? And like, he's like, as long as you keep thinking about the past, you always gonna be gonna be held back. So unless like you let that stuff go, you you never gonna get as strong as you want to be. And Be- Beerus was just like, yeah, my my motto is before creation comes destruction. So you gotta destroy your old self and make a new one. And that one got to be better than what you are right now. And, and I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit of facts. If you keep holding on to some shit that, ho- that happened a long time ago, how, how are you supposed to get over it and, and, and get better, you know? Okay, because, all right. If that's where, his, if that's where his character has gone, then I was going to say that um, just continue off of, you know, the ending of Boo where he just admits that, he, Goku's better than him, and and now he's just getting stronger, not for any rivalry sake. It's just for his own personal happiness. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah, Goku's over here with Ultra Instinct. That's cool. You know, I'm I'm a little salty. I'm a little bit salty, <laughs> but <laughs> hold on, my power just went off and on like twice. Uh, mine probably will too soon, cause it's raining heavy as hell. And hard as fuck. And anyway, um, and what was I saying? Yeah, I'm a little salty about that, but you know what? That's cool. Cause you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna get there soon enough. It's all right, Goku. I still find you annoying as shit, but it's all right. right. I, I, me personally, I do just genuinely want better for for his character. Cause I, I don't feel as though they they have a really good character one of the best that they, they've written and they just haven't done anything with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Too good with and you? Okay. And that's facts. And we can get on a topic about wasted potential because uh, there there are way too many characters. <laughs> Rock Lee. Quick side tangent. So because, sorry, DK. Quick side tangent because I want to end this debate with Chris once and for all. Who yeah. is the best Spider Man, and why? Yeah, yeah, bitch. I was coming for your ankles. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end this shit now, okay? <laughs> it's like, wait, 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 wait. In, in okay, terms of okay. what? Yeah. In general, like, like, are we talking? Oh, like I thought, our my like, best movie Spider Man, best movie, comic movie, book Spider Man. Oh, no, 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 oh, no comic book Scott. Different. Uh, movie Spider Man. Who's the best movie Spider Man? Because I, I need, I need my back me up, back to back. Because this man keeps saying, "Tell me McGuire." I'm like, "Hold my dick, bro. <laughs> Hold my dick." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, cause I, I feel like I, I'm gonna be biased as hell. Toby is my favorite. Thank you. All right. You can... yeah, like, wait, 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 wait. Before you say thank you, I, I'm literally only saying that because Toby is my favorite. I'm not saying that in terms of like the best Spider-Man because I've heard all these opinion on why he's not the best before, and I like it. It makes sense. I just feel like in terms of you know the responsibility, it, it's there and it feels like it's there. Uh, I didn't really feel the same with andrew and i can almost really say the same with with uh tom holland spider-man uh, uh tom until tom holland, um, doesn't count. tom holland doesn't count that's iron until that's far from count. home I- i'll at least say that you're as petty as i am when it comes to it. the way you're petty against tom is the way i'm petty against toby bro <laughs> it's like, bro chris this is your spot please ramble about why you defend Toby Maguire, then I'm gonna come for your ass. I'm gonna have everybody come for you. Go ahead, go ahead. It's your turn. Your chat. I mean, the only thing, the only thing that you have against Toby is you say that he's an awkward, quiet Spider-Man. It's the only thing you have, and also you say he simps. Yes. I, 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 I also. Toby Maguire is the first one, right? Went, yeah. yeah, he's the first one. Oh, Brandon. Yeah, he's my. Yeah. Brandon's my alpha dog, so if anybody gonna get on you, <laughs> Brandon, back me up. <laughs> and Gabe, Gabe, <laughs> Gabe, Gabe's a Spider-Man. <laughs> is Wait, so... Spider-Man mm-hmm. is Spider-Man is anyone is gonna go. So go ahead. I don't like how you worded that, but I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. <sighs> Hold up. With my towel. He's pressed. You can feel it. You can feel it. He's like, I gotta get my shit together. He's like, I'm ready. <laughs> my, can, I, can I just say while he's setting up for whatever? I, I do not like Andrew Garfield's Spider Man that much. I don't know why. Oh. There's just something. I he, bro. See, the thing with Andrew Garfield is I feel like it's wasted potential for something that could have been better. If, mm. if we're going to go that route, I would only say that because I feel like he had the potential to be a better Spider Man if the movie itself was written better. Yes. But that's my whole yeah, defense against that. Toby. Toby's in great films, but he's not a good Spider-Man. He's in amazing films. One of the best. Sam Raimi is one of the best directors out in the streets, Billy. But nah, I'm not going to sit there and tell you, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Gabby. Nah, man. Bounce, bounce. How you get cucked by you? All right. Someone take this mic from me. Nigga, it's not your house. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. It's a lot of nostalgia. That's one thing I will say. Toby gets a lot of nostalgia points, specifically because his Spider-Man just, it paved the way for every other Spider-Man to be on the big screen. And, and that's something I don't think can really be debated. Um, it is, It's just ridiculous. And then narratively uh i i do hear you ollie like how he simps in like him being spider-man is purely based off of Mar- mary jane I, I i do hear you when when it comes to that it's just like after that kind of kicks in though it's like he he continues to do it even though it, it's ruining his grades 
ruining his relationship. Like he still feels like it's a sense of responsibility for him to do despite like what it's doing to his personal life. And I, I do like that a lot because we see a lot of that in, in comics when it comes to Spider-Man. Like a lot of his character is, you know, him trying to do the right thing, but his life just goes to hell every time he tries to. Like if he does something good as Spider-Man, something wrong happens as Peter Parker. And, and yeah. that's the duality of his character. Um. And I feel like you really see that specifically in Spider-Man 2 with Toby. Um, I think we get a glimpse of that in Amazing Spider-Man 2 with um, Andrew Garfield. But it's yeah. like, it doesn't, it doesn't hammer it home. Because a lot of it is really just, oh, I can't date Gwen anymore. It, it, it's not really like, oh, me and Aunt May are struggling with bills or... or I can't stay at the apartment I'm at. I, I can't afford college or whatever the case. Like a lot of it is, is tailored to Gwen Stacy. And it, it, it's kind of messed up because he made a promise to stay away from her anyway, not just because of him being Spider-Man, but because her, her dad literally died for this man to live. And so, you know, it's just like, yeah, like, I, I feel like you could have done that a little bit better. And again, you know, on a movie side, I feel like it could have been, uh, what's the word, fleshed out a bit more. Because it's just like, oh, no, uh, I, 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 I can't see Gwen anymore. I, I can't get my rocks off. You, like, <laughs> what, what else am I supposed to do? All I can do is stay as Spider-Man and stalk her. It, like, like yeah no, oh, guys, no guys, i can't guys, he's a stalker and hey, yeah he's hey, a stalker and hey, yes he's a stalker mcguire be doing the no, same thing how i know he's what do you mean he's what, what do you mean he does the same thing he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't stalk mary jane like he actually just so happened to be in like the same area like he wasn't like yeah. looking at her looking out for her he's like oh yo, oh she's over here let me say what's up yeah. And I think he even like like he saw her and was gonna leave. I think in the first one he saw her was gonna leave, and then he noticed like muggers were were following her, so he had to stay. And so I don't really think he was stalking in, in that one. If you if you're gonna talk about Toby, I I, I just uh, this this is such a a hard thing for me. Because I, I, I love Spider-Man to death, you know, I, I really do. I, I, like, in every iteration, I feel like the actor has done what the, the best that they can, and I, I do not judge them. You know, if the movie was bad, that's not the actor's fault, and that's whoever designed the damn script, you know? But I, I will personally... <laughs> what this is tough for me because i like aspects of both a lot right for, and like, like i'm, I'm kind of torn on like the reasons why each even becomes spider-man in the first place because mm -hmm. andrew he, he only becomes spider-man at all because to find uncle ben's killer and he doesn't even learn the sense of responsibility till he saves that kid on the bridge so Uncle Ben is just, like, a reason for him to even, like, use his powers. Like, he wasn't even doing anything with him before. He was just, like, fucking around. Yeah. Uncle Ben is is the source of revenge, not responsibility. And I don't like that a lot when it comes to Andrew Garfield. Guys, you got to remember, when Toby, when Toby's uh, Spider-Man first came through, he doesn't use it for altruistic. It, there has to be... No, 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 no. I don't mean, like... Okay, mean you say I, that... I don't. I don't mean Andrew like Andrew Garfield Spider Man like using his powers for good at the beginning. I mean he doesn't do anything with them. He just like experiments with them a little bit, like sees what he can do, and then just kind of fucks around. He's like I'm gonna just skateboard real quick. I'm gonna dunk on Flash, you know, uh, yeah, that whatever. Was, that was the first. That was that was like because remember we're missing like elements for it. We're missing uh, the prototype stage and all this other. Doesn't become Spider Man, the, the carjacking. 
So around that time, around that time, he's looking. You're right. He's looking for Uncle Uncle Ben's killer. He's out. He doesn't there. even fucking find him. He does. He does. He, 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 ne- he never finds him. I think in the video game for uh, Tasm. Who gives a shit so about those shitty video games? Like, <laughs> I think that's the only time they say. That's the only time they, you know, mention the. Like he he killer. just never bothers to find him again after like the lizard attacks the bridge. Like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's literally just oh, you know, I couldn't find him. I, I'll just let it be. But it, it's it's a bit more of like a a personal thing in Toby's because it, when he figures out about like Sandman having any involvement with it, he goes ballistic. It like disregarding the symbiote suit. He's literally like, no, like this guy helped kill my uncle, you know. And, and I I don't remember in Amazing Spider Man if they had the uh, great power comes great responsibility speech they, they did that, they did but they never like said it like yeah. verbatim like, they, 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 they worked around saying it okay he, yeah, he just said, I, yeah uncle ben said in the movies he just said that his father lived by a moral just responsible that was it that he said bro i, I feel as though i'm gonna take one of uh, a day off just to like re-watch all of these all of the movies and really see like who do I feel as though is is the best Spider Man because I collectively come together and yes I mean that I can agree with that I can we, agree we, we can we don't, we don't like Tom Holland here is that what this is yeah fuck Tom Holland I uh, me personally I like Tom Holland I like the the little Spider Man movies or whatever I don't feel as though they are on the same wavelength as uh some of the older movies uh in Jerain's words Iron Boy Junior <laughs> Iron Boy yep that's what he is he's Iron Boy Junior he gets everything it, it, handed to him from Tony Stark Papa yes. Stark and that's I think that's why I liked uh Far From Home. Because you see that he's stepping away from that, which is bothersome because I feel like it should have been that way to begin with because he's he wasn't always like into the gadgets and things like that. Like he made the suit himself. He did, you know, he did a lot of things solo. And when he met the, the Avengers, like, yeah, he, he, lo- he loved them, but he was still like, yeah, I gotta do my own thing because y'all be doing he, some he, other he, stuff. He made the suit. He made the suit because of uh, what do you call it? Tony Stark had it, you know, ready for him. You know, yeah, bro, and that's that's what I'm talking about. Like I, I, it, I like him making his own suit in, in that one because it, it gives him his own personal touch. Yes, but at the same time, it's just like you still have this whole jet, not not even yeah. a plane, a jet. Like you, you pretty much. I wouldn't be surprised if they told me that he owns like three percent of the Stark estate or something, bro. Like <laughs> he definitely got stock. He definitely got stock with the company. I think he's- yeah, he he has Spider- to. Spider Man's not a ever show title without like if they said jump, he'll be like how high? That's the core because those are his his best friend is Johnny Storm. Other than that, right? Other than that. He doesn't like anybody. He hates mutants. He hates mutants. Bless your Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine, Wolverine. He's like... Mm. What do you mean? He fucks with the X-Men. Wasn't he a teacher for the X-Men at some point? Yes. I, I think what Ollie's trying to say is like he doesn't like when he's mistaken as a mutant. because That's uh, in the old the, the Sentinels. Yeah, ta- it's still funny to think I'm, of. I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about overall. Like He's friends with mutants. I mean, you got Bobby. You got... You got uh, Firestar. You have uh, fucking uh, Wolverine. You got a couple of mutants that he's friends with. He doesn't got. That's why the shame. Didn't he bang Kitty Pride in the Ultimate? That was an Ultimate Universe, like yeah. Regular Universe, they barely. Like um. Okay. But the thing is, Spider Man's not really the kind of guy that, unless you give him money, he's not gonna do it. This is why I I'm very turned off by the shame. Because the first issue, hey, it's Spider Man, <laughs> and Spider Man's like, Shay, Shay, we need to team up, and I'm like, I mean, he, you taught him martial arts or whatever, but I'm, 
but we're not like this. Like, if you told me right. Danny, if you told me Danny or Luke Cage, yeah, just again, doesn't do, like, he, he doesn't like the Avengers. I think the only person in the Avengers that he'll be, like, tolerating is Cap. Cap. That's like, yeah. That's like Superman. Like, because he looks up to, to Cap to, uh, for Spider-Man. But he hates, I tell you, he hates Iron Man. They still haven't resolved their beef. <laughs> I like P- Spider Man now is more of a team player than he was in the past. Like he he he'll he he'll be down and team up with other characters. Like, but usually, yeah, he's on his own. Like what? the what? Avengers, he he fucks with the Avengers. Yeah, Iron Man, like the whole thing with like oh him, you know, Aunt May and him fucking insulting him in front of Miles and shit like that and all that other shit. Mm. But like, I'm pretty sure he's cool with with Bruce Banner. Like, they they had a team up like uh, issue, like couple issues, and that was like they were cool. He's cool with Doctor Strange. He's cool with like a lot of people. Well, I think that's just his character. Like when he interacts with people, like he's he's very chill with them, and like he likes to like he's a very interactive kind of character. It's just the fact that when it comes to working with people, it's kind of just not his thing. And I think a lot of that stems from, like, how he's just been as a person. Like, he's used to doing shit solo, you know, what with, like, high school, college, and even, you know. So I, I think that's where a lot of it comes from. But and that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's, he's not really like that that much anymore. Like, like, if he's, like, in real serious shit trouble, he'll call people to help him the fuck out. Like, he called right. Flat. He, he called um, Agent Venom to help him out. He called the Avengers to help him out at some points. Like, like he's he'll he'll ask for help if he needs it, and like, he's not as much of a loner anymore. Yeah, right. It's some life. It's some life threatening shit. Like, like I'm not. What I'm saying is like this: the Avengers are like uh, they're like the reserves. Basically, they're like, if we need you, we'll call you, but if you don't. We're not going to invite you to the Baxter. It's not like the Baxter building. Every Friday night, we have a cookout. And, you know, it's, we shoot the shit. <laughs> You're invited. Yeah. He has he has other heroes that he associates. I'm not going to sit here and cap. Like, he didn't just bang Bobby Morse. Or, you know, which, again, if I was Hawkeye, that would be your ass. <laughs> but, um... To say what what I'm tr- really trying to say is like if we're talking about the Mighty Avengers, we're talking about the Defenders, Marvel Knights, it, uh, even even um, depending on who's leading the Avengers, but Spider Man overall isn't really like hey guys let's let's go I'm it is not looking up to the Avengers kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And there there are just some aspects that I'm not enjoying. Like the public perception of Spider Man. What, what, mm-hmm. what I'm t- was going with it, really. Take off. Take off. Go ahead. Expl- Gabe, explain to us the differences between uh, how he's represented in the comics and how he's represented in live action. For which version? Just in general? or J- Just like modern day, because it's, it's, it's hard to. Go back and see Andrew and Toby. Those are kind of irrelevant now. Hmm. Uh, like in the comics, he's I hope I hope I'm in the right way. He's kind of a pessimist. Hmm. Let's see if I, let's see. So like he's sure. always looking, looking at the the downside. Yeah. Of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But not not so much now, but he still does that. Like he'll kind of focus more on the negative shit of being Spider Man, and then mm. after like m- multiple lessons of and like fighting villains, like oh, or maybe it's not so bad, you know. Like, I gotta still do this it's resp- responsibility, yeah. and you know what? Like it may suck sometimes, but you know, there's only one in me, not anymore. But. Right. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Um, in live action, uh, I, I, mm, 
I think maybe Toby's the only one who's sort of like that. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of like scenes specifically where he like I guess Spider Man Two the whole movie. Yeah. The entire movie of Spider Man Two is just a documentary of how much Peter Parker's life sucks. Yep. Like you said it when something goes right for him as Spider Man, something has to go horrible as Peter Parker. Yeah. Yeah, and like all I already touched on, like how he ma- he does things himself. Like he made his own suit. Everything he made is his own. Yeah, he's been given some upgrades here and there, but mostly it's him because he is a genius. Which actually, none of the Spider-Man movies really touch on that, except for maybe Tom Holland. Like all yeah. they do, at least the older ones, they make him say one smart thing, and it's supposed to just make us automatically remember. Oh yeah, like he he's super smart or whatever. You often forget. You can you like you can you can uh, you can argue for Andrew R. Garfield's intelligence because yeah yeah he didn't make the web formula, but he still built the web shooters. Mm-hmm. Toby's like yeah he just kind of just says smart shit and like in Spider-Man 2 when he's talking to Otto Octavius like yeah they're just mumbling on about scientific shit like, but you know, isn't, isn't with that one it's mostly like theories and stuff like, it's not even anything like concrete theoretical they're, no they're talking they're talking about Otto's like experience, uh, experiment with like making the sun like they're talking about how it works and uh, shit like okay. that and like Tom Holland is, 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 I guess, smart because he goes to a smart school and he can, like, do physics equations and he made his own web formula and shit. And, you know, he can understand that. Yeah, like, he, he knows how to use Stark's tech and shit, how to, like, use that to make a suit and shit. So, we like, also see it when he's in school because there's a scene where uh, the teacher, like, calls him out because she thinks he's not paying attention. Yeah, and like yeah. he he literally looks at the formula and he gets it off bat. Yeah, so like his intelligence had hasn't really been fully explored in any live action um, mm-hmm. adaptation. Because like he he's 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 up there with the best of them. Like he's even surprised like Reed Richards and and Iron Man in in certain cases. Like oh wow, and Bruce Banner. Like Bruce Banner was surprised at how smart he was. Mm. And Bruce Banner's a genius. What's it called? Uh, since I know you're going through like the different Spider Man and like a lot of their attributes, I just want to know because I don't know why, but I I, I like this because I'd be curious sometimes. Which one do you think is the strongest Spider Man? Because I I don't, I I, I don't feel as though, uh, what's it called? I want to agree with Toby, but I don't feel as though. Andrew has any like strength feats in terms of like what he does. The the Man. only like um Spider Man yeah the only like Spider Man oh, right. the only Spider Man two moment Andrew had to my knowledge is um in the first one where he's like hanging on to that van with one hand and holding web line with the other to like, save that kid. That's the only mm. moment I can think of, but that's just a van. So we stopped right. the whole train, and and Tom Holland for at least a couple seconds he held together a a, a ferry, which is pretty fucking heavy. Yeah. Ah, ooh, I, I might have to. We really pretty, might have to. I, I want to say some of these movies. I want to say Toby because he he did stop a train moving at full speed. I I I think it is Toby because the train, and then if you remember, it, it's not an entire building. But he he lifted up um a section of a building at the end of Spider Man Two, and he yeeted it up. Oh so, yeah, <laughs> he literally just said like, "Get oh, this off." The one me. with Andrew Garfield. Uh no, uh, I'm talking about uh Toby, uh Spider Man oh, Two towards the end. Uh, oh, with the Doc Ock thing. Uh, yeah. Scene? Oh yeah, that big chunk of building. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah he was that, like, "This is fucking awesome. heavy." <laughs> <laughs> Mary Jane, get the fuck up. <laughs> right? Can you move? Uh, please. Things that. Please move. <laughs> Tom Holland 
managed to do mm-hmm. was yeah the fairy uh with the help of like his webs and everything but that's i mean come on the toby had to do the same thing with the train um but also but- i don't know if this was like the entire building or just a pillar mm-hmm. when he when he had to go chase the vulture Oh, yeah, and, like, the building, like, parts of the building fell on top of him. Yeah, uh, y'all can probably remind me about that, but I, I can't remember if that was, like, the entire building or just a pillar that was on top. No, no, it, it, it wasn't like the entire building. It was, it was like, like a, a couple pillars, I would say. Yeah. Okay, okay. And and Tom Holland, Spider-Man, when he was fighting Cap in Civil War, he did stop, um, like, that, like, the air, airplane gateway. Ooh. Terminal thing, yeah. like, like straight away. Like, <laughs> they're, they're not like he stopped it like dead in his tracks, right? And and he was still kicking after that too. So you know, like he had to sit that down. It's just mm. it caught him off guard, so he was kind of stuck there for a second. Um, not only that, but he did go toe to toe with Captain America, who's. Had some crazy ass feats hit by himself. Uh, Cap kicked his ass. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was a lack of experience. But it, the, the, the fact that too, the fact that he even hung in there for as long as he did and managed to get hits in it is something to really speak about. Because yes. Cap ain't no pushover when it comes to like a fight. He folds people. <laughs> yes. He is the folder. <laughs> it's just a funny ass name. <laughs> oh no! Everybody around it's a folder. <laughs> hey, you just see what your, do you do? You see, your, your, home, you see, like, you see your homie laying in bed. It's like, bro, what happened to you? I was folded. I was folded, bro. The folder got his hands on me, bro. Oh. Bro, I, I I really wish there would be a scene like that where it's just like, what do you do? What are your powers? And Buddy takes him by two ends, fold them together, <laughs> like and just toss him away. Yes, <laughs> just like Bender. Just shut up, nigga. Oh, another Bro. aspect that's not shown very well in the in the movies is guilt. Um. Spider-Man feels guilty for everything that goes wrong that happens to him. He feels like it's always his fault. Tom Holland does, doesn't really seem to be feeling guilty about anything. They only briefly showed that in Civil War. Like, he's just mm-hmm. talking to Tony Stark, like, oh, yeah, um, uh, I did something, and I fucked up. So now I feel like I got I to gotta, I gotta protect people and shit. Sorry, hold um, on, I was about to switch to my phone real quick. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, um, I don't think... Uh... Oh no, I do think Toby does feel guilt, like for, yes. but not as like the hairy shit. Like he's sitting there, mostly worried about whether he can pipe Mary Jane. He's like, if he actually felt guilt. He would have been like, Harry, your dad, dad not. Well, key it is. It, it it was kind of bullshit. At the end of two, he's like, we we can't talk about this right now. I can't explain it to you in like a minute. I gotta go save, you know, Mary Jane real quick. Right. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, w- I'll wait a couple months later to tell you. Right, right after he saved Mary Jane, should have went straight to Harry just to talk. Or like, yo, let me explain how what happened, bro. Like, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> bro, that that's the one thing I always hated about the uh, the Sam Raimi movies. Like, how hard is it to tell this man that you did not kill him? Like, that that's literally all you had to say. Why is it like eating at you to not just say that? Because I'm yo, not gonna lie to you. If I didn't do something, I didn't do it. Yo, comic book Spider Man would have been like thinking about this shit all the time. Like, how the fuck do I tell this man that his dad was the Green Goblin and then I I didn't kill him? How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Told me, told me this like being Spider Man's awesome now. I'm gonna fuck Mary Jane. <laughs> It was like that, and, bro. If it was if it was on some Mary Jane, do you know how many? You know how happy I would be for my man's? Cause it's like they re- they really treat it like, oh, Mary Jane is the only cu- guiding light in his life. And it's Spider Man. That's how it, like his whole whole freaking origin 
is is tied around this woman. It's like he can't do anything besides think about that girl. He has no prospects uh-huh. in life. Mm-hmm. Like at least in the comic books, he's a scientist. He wants to make money. He wants to do things not to impress a woman. It's like it's just like damn. He got his own motivation and wants when he got the job at Horizon. Right. You know what I mean? Like you still have the whole double life thing. Like that's not a problem. But when you make his whole thing, like yeah, Mary Jane. I mean, Toby. The, what separates him from Andrew is like, and Tom. Believe it or not, yeah, they do the, do the whole simp shit with the girls. But it's like it's also Andrew's like, yeah, I need to know about my parents. And Tom is like. I want to be an Avenger. I want to be like a a real prime time superhero. I don't really want to be the only of... the only thing I will say to that though, Ali, is that while yeah, he he did get curious about like what was going on with his parents. That plot thread literally goes nowhere. Like in both movies, it was supposed to go somewhere. Like thank God we didn't get Spider Man three because that shit there it got deleted. The reason why that. The whole plot thread with his parents was supposed to equal to the whole. His father is still alive. He co- you can actually find the scene on YouTube. His father's still alive. He visits him. He goes, "Where have you been?" And he's like, "Some shit's about to go down. They they were gonna do clones. They were gonna do symbiotes. It was gonna be a lot of crazy shits." That okay, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, just his father the, was his father was gonna get him the great. Uh, Great yeah, yeah, he, he he gave him he gave him the proper speech in the deleted scene. Fuck, that sounds like too much. Yeah, like, like clones and Sinister Six. Yeah, you can keep that. It was, it was gonna be a lot, <laughs> and we were gonna get we were gonna get the symbiote because they were gonna follow down the the ultimate route because it was gonna be. Um, I don't think we were gonna get Venom in the same movie, but he was definitely going to be introduced because they were. Doing the old, Gabe knows what I'm talking about. The ultimate comics where his dad creates. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. isn't with that one, uh, his dad and Eddie Brock's dad worked on yeah, the symbiote? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Peter Parker and Eddie Brock's dad created what's called the suit. They created it as a, as a possible cure for cancer. But then Eddie Brock's dad like fucked with it a, a little too much and it, it, it became the Venom symbiote. Hmm. You know, yeah. it's funny you guys just talked about that, and I'm, I don't mean to change the subject per se, but only because I just realized this from the trailer of that uh, spider of the Venom movie. Mm-hmm. How, how does is anyone? Because I think it's cool, right? Like I'm not against it. I don't think it's bad. But how does everyone feel about the fact that like Cletus Cassidy got the Venom symbiote? Instead of like, you know, through the typical comic thing where he had a cut and the Venom symbiote let go of a baby and it just got into his cut, he bit him. He bit the motherfucker. I it got it, it in, uh, you know? I think it's because in this in this universe, instead of being a serial killer, I think he was a Hannibal Lecter type. He was a cannibal. Because that would make uh, sense. Because that, that makes sense why he bit him. He's like, ah! <laughs> oh, absolutely. That makes a lot of sense, actually. And then, Although I just, I just kind of chalked it up to crazy, man. Cause, it, cause it's like it, it would make sen- it would make more sense because you know you're a symbiote. Symbiotes eat people, so it's just like it lines up pretty good in this in this timeline instead of just like, oh, I just stab people. Huh? <laughs> like nobody's scared of stabbers. <laughs> what are you gonna be like? Oh, I'm stabbed. Please, <laughs> a knife versus oh, he, this man's going to eat me. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> oh, no, please, <laughs> please, no. So that's why I like I like the change. I I I like the changes. I, and the Ronald McDonald I, I gotta, is gone. I got to see I got to see that scene in context cuz to me I feel like Eddie should be able to just like get out of his grip super easy cuz he's venom. Like It was off, just a dude. It's an off guard situation. I don't I, it, I don't think it was Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Cuz venom I, I and you know venom likes to to mess with Eddie so he's probably one of those situations where Cletus yeah. and Eddie are talking, and then Venom's like, ah, you know what? I'm just not going to involve myself with this situation. You can have it, you pussy. <laughs> and then he's just like, ah! Oh! He just gets bit, and he's like, ah! Oh! Eddie, can we eat him? No, we can't do that right now. I mean, you, you My, can... I mm. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Oh, I was just going to say my probably just from the trailer in general, I'm not going to lie. My favorite like line so far, bit of dialogue, and we haven't even seen the movie is when Venom said, oh, shit. And he was like, well, well, where are you going? He's like, that is a red one. Like (laughs) the, the only reason why I found that so funny is because it's like as much as someone might not necessarily think about it this way, right? That kind of de- does add a bit of depth technically to the Venom symbiote. Mm. Like it does. My dog, mm. like we've seen Venom and instead of like it, trying to explain it to us through like probably, which we don't know, they might, but at least from what we know, it doesn't look like they're trying to explain it to us through like some narrator or some shit who just tells us everything. They're showing us everything. Right. And I like that. I just, I'm just always a big fan of like, even if the thing you're attempting to show doesn't do well, I'll give you points for using like good narrative. Um, I forgot the word. Um, Exposition. Uh, yeah, like just it, it, that's a that's a decent enough word right there. Like I'll give you points for give, for like actually putting effort, even if it doesn't exactly work, because you at least made an attempt to do something there. You feel me? Like you were, especially if I can see what it is you were trying to do, you know. It's like, okay, I get it. You were mm-hmm. trying to be, you know, blah, 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 this, that, or whatever. Then, yeah, I'll give you some points. Because <laughs> the only thing I'll, I'll, the only thing, the only bit of leeway I will ever give movies, even the ones I, do, I dislike, because I know I talk some shit about some movies a lot, but I'll give them still a little bit of leeway. And that's, I don't exactly know how to direct a movie either. So I can't talk that much shit. Mm-hmm. You know? Wait, yes. I agree. I agree with that because as a filmmaker myself, it's just like the worst thing to yeah. do is a tell, not show. And, you know, filmmakers are a visual. Film is a visual. Absolutely. Movie, so you're not supposed to be saying blah, 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 blah. It, That's, this this oh, no, is a perfect. This is a perfect subject because I wanted to shit on Hunter x Hunter for this exact reason. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> my God. I love the show. Let me just start by that. But just as someone who enjoys visual media, why in the fuck are you telling me everything? I and I mean it's it's so redundant. Brandon, you probably would have lost your mind. And <laughs> in the beginning, it's not that prevalent. Like it's it's not that bad. But then Towards the ending of the series, mm-hmm. it just gets worse and worse and worse. There is a literal scene where the narrator says, and then Killua thought, <laughs> oh, I could die here. Like, like literally have the guy think that right then and there. Why did you have to tell I, what me the that fuck? if he was just going to say it anyway? That, just cut out that first part. Literally, literally as you're saying it i'm trying to like think about it and like what bro i if i remember the episode i will literally clip it and send it to you because <laughs> that happened so much within the last 24 episodes and it's so ridiculous like it's like at that point in time they forgot the rule of show don't tell and, and it's so crazy because in a sense, because the anime did it better than the manga, I will say, because it kind of does both. But the fact that it does both is what will trigger you because you're getting the the audio aspect of it. So, it, yeah, it's telling you everything. But the thing that's so triggering about it is that it's telling you as it's happening. So you see it. And your brain will register it. And it's like, why are, why? <laughs> why are you telling me when it's already happening? Like it's there. Uh, uh, somebody will be clenching their fist. You see the veins coming out. And the narrator, gone, it is now super pissed. Oh. Oh, really? I, I would have never guessed. Obvious. Like, what, is it like an old school tsunami style where like it's like, now, after 20 years, the young boy named Gohan has unleashed his race. I mean, that was kind of cool. Like, But that was like for the ending that, recaps type shit. Not in the middle of the show. That I do not mind. Because you know what that is, Ollie? 
that is an ending exposition. It's ending the episode and giving you a bit of a cliffhanger <laughs> from what he's saying. You know, that's, that's completely different. That is a to be continued. What they were doing is literally telling you everything as it's happening. So imagine, since we were just talking about Spider-Man, imagine in Spider-Man 3, in, in that cringy ass scene where he's dancing and walking through the, the, the streets and everything. Imagine as that's happening, you don't even have the, the stupid jazz music in the back. You have a narrator, Peter Parker decided to hit thrust in front of these young girls who are now obviously unattracted to him. And, and, and <laughs> they run off in, in, in a frenzy because they are now cringe. I can see that they are cringe by their facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, <what the> <laughs> like that, that is literally how the narrator is. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to hold back a little bit because I, I understand why it was happening. Uh, because, you know, as an anime, it's an adaptation of the manga. And at this current point in the manga, the author uh, who's always being made fun of, like instead of Hunter x Hunter, they're always ca calling it hiatus x hiatus because mm -hmm. he, he's constantly taking a break uh, because he has health is issues. He has a bunch of health issues and he just hasn't been able to work on the series like he wants to. So at this current point in the story, he wasn't able to do the same things that he wanted to do. So instead of having certain panels where it's like you get the scene, you can obviously see what's happening and, and it just goes from there. And maybe you may get some narration, maybe not. Instead, it will be a single panel filled with text. And that was it. Fucking parasites, you're like. Yes, bro. And in a sense, like I, as someone who's trying to work on a manga, uh, like that is that is no good. Ooh. That that no good. <clears throat> that that no bueno at all. <laughs> you you are allowed to do that for one panel, right? And that's if somebody is laying down heavy exposition and you're you're trying to like get it all on this one page. So yeah, you you can do that for one small ass panel. But he did this for multiple huge panels, damn near the entire page will but would just be text. At this point, this is not a manga. This, this is literally a, excuse me, uh, uh, just just a, a, an actual book. <laughs> it's an actual book, an actual novel. And, and you know, and again, I understand why it was happening. It's just in without context, it is so triggering. It is ridiculous. And I'd be pissed too. It, it it's it's crazy to think that, you know, he was pushed to such a, ah words. He was pushed to such extremes to the point where like that's something that he had to do.